Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. So today I'm going to show you guys how to play the F sharp minor chord. And like in the last couple of weeks, we're just going to start off with the F minor chord, which is right here in this position. If you want to learn how to play the F minor chord, the link will be somewhere above here in the different positions. That could be pretty helpful. But if you don't watch that video, I'm still going to show you guys exactly how to play the F sharp minor chords and which positions exactly with my fingers I'm going to take. But I'm going to start off in this position, the F minor chord. And from there on out, I'm going to just move up one fret on the arm and then we get the F sharp minor chord. All right. Now to explain exactly what we do here, we place our index finger over all the strings on the second frets. Then we place our pinky finger on the fourth fret of the fourth string. And then finally our ring finger on the fourth fret of the fifth string. And then if we play all the strings, we get the F sharp minor chord. Just like that. Like in the previous videos, there's another way to play the F sharp minor chord, but we cannot use the same method to go to that chord. And the A sharp minor chord, C sharp minor chord, and the D sharp minor chord, you can just actually move up five frets and then jump up one string with your fingers, remove the middle finger and you get the chord. But right now we're actually already in that kind of position and we cannot just move five frets back because our bridge is here. What we can do in this case is actually do the opposite. So we're going to jump one string lower with our fingers. So instead of my index finger over the six strings, just over the five lower strings, and then my ring and pinky finger instead of the fourth and fifth string are going to jump to the third and fourth string. All right. Then when we're here, we're going to move up seven frets. So count them with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then the only thing we still need to do is add our middle finger and we're going to just place it on the second fret in between my other fingers. So in this case, that's on the 10th fret. Then if we play the five lower strings, we get the F sharp minor chord, which is this. So that's another way. If we go back to the first position, which is this. Sounds lower, but it's the same chord. Okay, so remember that method to go to that chord because next week we're going to do the same thing for the G sharp minor chord. So that's basically it for the F sharp minor chord. So like I said, next week we're going to do the G sharp minor chord. Stay tuned for that one. I hope you learned something again today, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video. Also, don't forget I have reaction videos and music videos for you guys to check out. So thank you very much and see you guys next time. Bye.